draw a circle with radius 1. Next, inscribe a square and circumscribe a hexagon. We know that the circumference, or the perimeter of the circle, is 2 times pi times r. In this case, the radius r is 1, and so the circumference of this circle is just 2 pi. What's the perimeter of the other shapes? With things set up this way, we can use the radius of this circle and a little bit of geometry to figure out the perimeter of the square. By the Pythagorean theorem, this square's side length is root 2, hence the perimeter of the square is 4 root 2. Now without diving too much into trigonometry, there's a nice formula for the side length of a circumscribed polygon. The side length is 2r tan theta, where theta is 180 degrees divided by the number of sides. So in this case, 180 degrees over 6 sides, theta will be 30 degrees, r the radius is still 1, and the side length of this hexagon is 2 tangent of 30 degrees. Tangent of 30 is root 3 over 3, and so the side length of this hexagon is 2 root 3 over 3. We have 6 sides, and so the perimeter of this hexagon is 6 times 2 root 3 over 3, or 4 root 3. The thing to notice is that the hexagon is outside the circle, the square is inside the circle, and well, the circle is in between the hexagon and the square. So when it comes to their perimeters, it should follow the same order. The perimeter of the square should be less than the perimeter, or the circumference of the circle, which should be less than the perimeter of the hexagon. And setting it up in this way, we might even say that the perimeters of the square and the hexagon are approximations to the circumference of the circle. Or a better approximation would be their average. If we were to average the perimeters of the square and the hexagon, that should be a pretty good approximation for the circumference of the circle. So 2 pi is approximately the average between 4 root 2 plus 4 root 3, which is 2 times root 2 plus root 3. Dividing both sides gives us that pi is approximately root 2 plus root 3, and this is actually a very good approximation.